And the hormone that regulates insulin is actually GLP-1. So in males, when there is a decrease, a substantial decrease in testosterone production because you are insulin resistant, aromatase is not acting on insulin, you cannot convert estrogen into testosterone adequately, then you develop visceral fat deposition. The skin lies right on the muscle, there's very little subcutaneous fat, but all the fat is being deposited in the omentum and in the organs of the chest and the belly. That is driven by testosterone. So vis visceral fat is driven by the absence of testosterone that allows that fat accumulation to sit in the organs of the gut and of the belly and of the chest. And the ability to form that fat and store it outside of regular fat cells, outside of regular fat cells under the skin is a last ditch effort by the human body to protect you from what you're eating and drinking based on your genetic and hormonal biology. So the problem here is insulin resistance and a difficulty in forming testosterone. And that is where you get the lean skinny muscles because you don't have testosterone, you don't have human growth hormone to form the big muscles. And you get all the visceral fat deposition with a huge big beer belly. And along with that, you're getting other harmful things happening in blood vessels. And those are the people that are metabolically extremely healthy, unhealthy. They've got metabolic syndrome and they're going to die. But it's not about the fat folks. It's not about the visceral fat. It's about how it got there biologically.